Hey everybody, this is D Hunter for another holiday video. I want to wish everyone out there a happy Valentine's Day. Now I posted a brand new action figure holiday video earlier today. That was Cornelius Sturk takes on Batman in Gotham City on Valentine's Day. But since we're on the theme of Valentine's Day, I figured I'd repost an older Valentine's Day video. This is one I did four years ago in 2020. This is Harley Quinn giving Joker a gift on Valentine's Day. And then Batman, of course, stopping them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Quality is maybe a little bit lower than some of my newer videos, as it's four years old. But I thought I might give some of the newer subscribers a chance to see this video that I haven't posted in a while. So, hope you guys enjoy. Drop me a line in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Here we go. Hey, everybody. This is D Hunter. Bring another holiday video. Wanted to wish everyone out there a happy Valentine's Day from D Hunter's Reviews, action figure style. Now I've got a ton of figures to review right now and I've been focusing my time on those. So I didn't have time to make a holiday video. I know, it sounds very familiar. So I'm reposting my Valentine's video from 2020. Yes, from three years ago. It's been that long since I had time to make a Valentine's Day holiday video. In this video, we've got Bruce Wayne, Selena Kyle, and Vicki Vale sort of going through the Valentine's Day motions. And then we also have a separate story with Harley Quinn and Joker. But of course, they all sort of interact at the same time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy Valentine's Day. Make sure to take care of your significant other. Be safe. Have a good one. Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing you another holiday video. Just wanted to wish everyone out there Happy Valentine's Day, action figure style from D Hunter's Reviews. Here we go, Harley Quinn, her apartment, waiting for Mr. J to come home from his heist on February 14th. Aw, oh, come on, Puddin'. Don't you want to rev up your Harley? Vroom, vroom. So let's kick this off with Alfred helping Bruce Wayne get ready for his hot date tonight. Bruce Wayne is going out this Valentine's Day with Selena Kyle. Alfred asks him, why, sir, did you pick Selena Kyle over Vicki Vale? Bruce Wayne says, Vicki Vale, being a reporter, is a little bit too nosy for his extracurricular activities. And Selena Kyle, there's just something about her that's a lot more exciting. And then Selena Kyle arrives at Wayne Manor. Bruce Wayne puts his coat on, getting ready to leave. You can see Alfred in the back there, dusting, more so eavesdropping on Bruce Wayne's conversation. Bruce Wayne asking Selena Kyle, where are we going to go this evening? Selena telling him she's going to take him for a night in the town like he's never had before. Selena Kyle says, you've always had boring dates, going to fundraisers, things like that. She's thinking about Vicki Vale. Of course, Bruce Wayne's thinking his head, well, one time, the daughter of the leader of the League of Shadows seduced me, drugged me, and eight years later I found out I had a son. And nothing exciting my romance in the past. And it looks like Selena here brought Bruce to a strip club. It takes a lot to make the Dark Knight blush, but it looks like it happened here. You see some guys, have some drinks, enjoying the show. Bruce Wayne's thinking to himself, I didn't even know there was a downstairs to the comedy club that Vicky Vale took me to last year. And then on the other corner of the room, we've got Vicky Vale here. She's trying to be incognito, got her hat pulled down over her eyes. Since she's a little bit jealous that Bruce Wayne has moved on, she decides she's gonna get some good photos, paparazzi style, and put out an embarrassing story of Bruce Wayne in the Gotham Gazette. Bruce Wayne's thinking back to last year when he went on a date with Vicky Vale and they went to the comedy club how he was just could not wait for the night to be over because he was just not enjoying himself at all. And then of course, as Bruce Wayne's bringing Selena Kyle a drink, something like this is gonna happen. And just as Bruce Wayne is getting called away, Selena Kyle looks at her phone and she's getting a very similar call to action. And then here on the GCPD rooftop, Batman answers Gordon's signal, sneaks up on Gordon, taps on the shoulder, 
And Goran says, God damn it, you know you are the exact reason that I take blood pressure medication. Gordon proceeds to explain to Batman that Harley Quinn has decided to deface some of the largest buildings in Gotham, painting the biggest picture of Joker you'd ever seen to impress him for Valentine's Day. And then here we go, here's Harley Quinn instructing all of her thugs on what to do. You can see some of them on the rooftop guarding them. And we got some down here painting this giant Joker face onto the wall there, spray painting, using a large brush, and even a couple more guarding for Batman. And you've got Mime and Marionette assisting in this effort, following instructions by Harley Quinn. Marionette looks at Mime and asks why he's never done anything like this for her. Mime just stares at her, awkward silence, not only because he's a mime and doesn't really talk, but what are you going to say to something like that? And Batman comes out in the Batmobile to make short work of these Joker thugs. And as Batman beats up these thugs with more ferocity than usual, as they took him out from quite the hot date with Selina Kyle. And here we go. The GCPD has arrived to clean up Batman's mess. See them all arresting the Joker thugs. We've even got Harley Quinn getting handcuffed, telling Gordon how much she enjoys it. And then here we've got Batman meeting up with Catwoman on the rooftop for a romantic encounter. Catwoman here wore her sexiest outfit for Batman this Valentine's Day. And so, whether you have a relationship like Bruce and Selina, or Bruce and Vicky, or Batman and Talia, or Batman and Catwoman, or Dick Grayson and Barbara Gordon, or Kathy Kane and Renee Montoya, Tim Drake and Stephanie Brown, Joker and Harley Quinn, Mime and Marionette, Poison Ivy and whoever she's using her pheromones on this time. Poison Ivy and whoever she's using her pheromones on this time. Or Poison Ivy and Kite Man, like in the Harley Quinn animated series. And we've got Preston Payne and Sandra Fuller, Clayface's 3 and 4. Killer Croc and Baby Doll, as weird a combination as they are. Or Mad Hatter and his most recent Alice. So whether you're a young couple like Bruce and Selina from Gotham here, or an older couple like Alfred and Leslie Tompkins, don't screw up Valentine's Day. Don't forget. Don't wait till last second. Don't blow it off. Make sure you spend time with your loved one. Make sure you tell him or her how much they mean to you, how important they are. Even if you can't do anything fancy or elaborate, make sure the feelings are expressed. If you screw it up, you'll end up looking like this guy if you catch my drift. So, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure related videos from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter, wishing everyone a happy Valentine's Day.